right, it's Maria Christina, one of the contributing editors over at Book Riot, and here is your Thursday video. I want to talk to you today about a play. I know, I know it seems like just yesterday I was on here talking to you about a play. It wasn't. It was two days ago. But that's not going to stop me because this is the only thing that I can really relate to at this moment that I am filming this. And that play is the one woman show written by Jane Wagner starring Lily Tomlin called The Search for Signs of Intelligent Life in the Universe. It is as old as I am but it it shows its age a little bit more just because a lot of the characters featured in it are members of different countercultures and so it's very 80s in that sense but the language is so beautiful and funny and raw and the datedness isn't anything that's going to take you out of that it's nothing that's going to break that spell and i have no compunctions about ruining the plot for you because the language and the themes that's what you're there for if you're reading it, if you're watching it, you're probably there for Lily Tomlin because she's awesome. But even without her excellent performance, Jane Wagner's text here is, it's stunning. Whenever something terrible happens, there are many people who will prescribe the correct way to respond, who will say, such and such an attitude is the only one you should adopt. Everything else is just flat out wrong. And that is useful in some contexts. That is valid in some contexts. For example, just to pick something off the top of my head, if someone suggests that you shouldn't align yourself with white supremacists, that's probably not the time for you to bust out a you're not the boss of me. There's not just a single way to process something that's happened. And at the risk of sounding like one of those people telling you what to do, I'm going to say that there are many feelings you're going to cycle through. There are times when you will want to fight. There are going to be times where you want to fight but you can't and you just have to take a step back and take care of yourself. There are going to be times that you need to forget about everything that's happening and recharge somehow so that you can stay whole enough to keep going. As I've been filming this video, I keep rambling on. I keep reading out loud from this for you because it's just remarkable. So let me just scrap all of that. What I really want to tell you is that I cherish the generous, non-judgmental space that this play holds for all of those feelings and emotions that you can have in response to the world. It's got room for your anger. It's got room for your own weep. It's got room for your wonder. And the feeling it gives me is one of love without sacrificing any of my power. And I need that. You might need it too. So please pick this up if you are in need of a book that will just sit there with you, be with you while you feel what you feel. And in the end, bonus added value here, it's going to reaffirm for you why art is so important when it comes to connecting to others. Thanks for watching.